Okay, I'm just going to go through the first question on the quiz. This is duality. So here we've given it a question which says, tells us that the time domain function is a delta function and the frequency domain, in the frequency domain, the Fourier transform of that is a constant and it equals one. So for all values of omega, so for all frequencies, it equals one. So we're told this and we're asked about this function here where in the time domain it equals one for all time. So this is a classic uh, duality question. So let's just remind ourselves of duality. It says that if we have a function in the time domain and we know that it's for a transform is this function, capital X, then, and this capital X is just a function, uh, as a, it's a function of omega. If we replace the omega with a T, then we'll get a time domain function that has the same shape as this frequency domain function. So now we have a time domain function with the same shape as this frequency do domain. Then duality tells us that we know that the Fourier transform of this function, which is a time domain function that has that shape, if we have a time domain function with that shape, then its Fourier transform from the formula over this other side of the question paper is two pi times a function which has the shape of the time domain function, but now in the frequency domain. So where you replace the time with negative omega. So that's what the duality tells us. If we know this Fourier transform pair, then this is also a Fourier transform pair. It's a function with the shape of this, but in the time domain, and its Fourier transform has the shape of this, but in the frequency domain. So let me plot out these uh, ones that we are told about. So we're told here that there's a delta function uh, in the time domain, so this is xt, function of t is a delta function, just plotting it here at zero height one, and its Fourier transform pair, we're told, is this real function. So this x of j omega is real in this case, it's just equal to one for all values of omega. So it's equal to one because it's real, we can plot it here. Okay, now we're asked about a function here, we're asked about yt, where we're told in the question that yt equals 1 for all values of time. Okay, now we already know what this uh, function looks like in the frequency domain, and it's the same function. As you can see, you can clearly see these are the same function. All that's happened is that the omega has been replaced by the time. So yt actually equals x of this function here. It's the same function. It equals x where you've replaced you've made omega equal to where the time was. So now the duality formula tells us we know that over here in the frequency domain, it's going to be a function that has this shape because it's this function here, the little x. So that's a function with that shape, which is in this case, it's a delta function, but you're replacing the time with the frequency and you're multiplying by two pi. That's what this says here. So two pi, it's a delta function in the frequency domain that has the height of 2 pi. And so this is y j omega from the formula equals 2 pi and then the x t which we know is a delta function where you're replacing t by minus omega and because it's symmetric replacing it by minus omega is the same as replacing it by omega. So this is the answer.